Hello everyone. Oh gosh. I'm on my way up to visit my family. Uh, they live in Lincolnshire. Um, I want to go and see them before I go to Australia. And I've done 90 miles in about an hour and 40. And I'm halfway. But I only have 56 miles left to go. But if you've ever been to Lincolnshire and you've seen the windy roads, um, yeah, it's going to take me a while. My feet are freezing. I mean, I tried to fiddle with the aircon as I was going, but my feet were absolutely ice blocks. Um, I think I've fixed it now. And my Amazon Music was stuck on one song, so I had the same song for over an hour and a half. I used to love that song, but uh, now I hate it. Anyway, I'm going up to Lincolnshire to see my family. So I'm from a Lincoln. Uh, well, look, I'm from Lincolnshire originally, uh, so you could say I'm going home. And so I think we're um, staying with my aunt and uncle and I think we're going to my cousins for a barbecue uh, later on when I get there. And if I have time, which I'm not sure I will have, um, but if I do, I shall go for a tour around Mablethorpe, which is where I'm actually born, and uh, show you around an uh, English seaside town. It's so different to when I was growing up here. Uh, when I was growing up, I mean, you obviously had all the beach and you had the arcades. And when I came here last year and I went to the arcades, it's nothing like it at all. I was so disappointed because I used to love going to bingo with my grandma. And you know, when you used to have that old uh, boards and you'd have to put your tags across them. I went last year all excited to go bingo at Fred's where I used to go with my grandma all the time. And it's all electronic now. I can basically just sit there and it does it all for me. And I thought, oh, no, 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 no. This is not bingo. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of this journey. And um, hopefully I can show you some of where I'm from. I'll catch you later. 26 miles to go. Now, you can always tell when you're in Lincolnshire. It just looks like Lincolnshire. So it says 26 miles to go and... God, another 50 minutes still. And so it's all like these single windy roads now. And these ones aren't too bad, but it'll get worse. And I'll keep showing you. But it does feel good. I just passed the sign for Mablethorpe, Louth, Skegness. So I know I'm getting closer. Oh, pants, I'm supposed to turn down there. That's a funny way to go. So it tries to take down all the dodgy old back roads. Oh, flip. Should have been concentrating. So here we go. Now we've got 20 miles of these back roads to get through. Now, you may be wondering why, um, I'm not sure if I caught the signs or not, but I'm not actually heading towards Mablethorpe's. Like, um, God, I hate these roads. So I, I was born in Mablethorpe, I've lived in Mablethorpe for lots of my life and sat on sea nearby. And my grandparents have always lived in Mablethorpe. Uh, but my aunt and uncle who I'm staying with, well since before I was born, have lived in a small village outside of Alford. Um, my uncle actually built two houses there that they've lived in and now they live in a cottage there. But they've always been in the same village. And my cousins now live in Louth. So none of us actually live in Mablethorpe itself anymore since my grandparents passed away. But uh, they're very pretty villagers, aren't they? Now, where the heck am I going? Right. Ooh, sorry, have to indicate. Well, look at this village, it's so picturesque. And you sometimes think when you come into like Skegness and Mablethorpe and you know like the typical seaside towns you forget that they have all of this beautiful countryside and quaint villages around as well lots of farmland obviously in Lincolnshire we'll let him go past and we're surrounded by farmlands and uh, you can't smell it, but uh, you can smell you're in farmland. Anyway, let's uh, 
keep going. Um, 19 miles to go on roads like this. Enjoy them, joys. So we're in Alford now and I'm about five miles away from the village where my aunt lives. So, I mean, things are shutting down here like they are everywhere. Uh, uh, Half Moon Hotel and Restaurant on the right. Gosh, we used to go to parties there. <laughs> but it's a cute little town and we're just coming up to roundabout in the centre and you see the church it's a beautiful church and my cousin got married there I don't know if you can see it very well through my car but it is a it is a beautiful church right so not far now Thank the Lord. We've arrived nearly. So this bungalow here with the white windows, that was the first house that my uncle built. Oops, need to turn. And then this is their village. It's very nice, isn't it? There's only, I don't know, about 10 or 12 houses, not many. And then there's this big house here. So it's got the white thing out, right, white, um, outside oh, and they put a big hedge so you can't see the house anymore but that's the big house he built behind there yeah. there you got a sneak peek and then they've moved to a little cottage up here so actually they've fallen into the category of the next village but uh, I still say it's the same one. I still put the same village in my sat now. And we're here. So, family time. Away from a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Uncle Beef. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes somebody took it once, put all the bubbles in this, put all the bubbles in. That's lovely, isn't it? I can't do it with that wall, I can't put that off. Huh? So I bought all the sand in because of all the flooding. The gates are nearly always shut now because of when the flooding, but it stopped a lot. Do you remember when, we, uh, when it flooded when we lived at Kirkstead? Mum and I are together. Right, where have you in gone? In that coat, when wish we had Right, them. hang on. Let's get rid of that bloody face recognition. <laughs> yeah. So where are we? Yeah. So I guess where they brought this, all the more sand up here, whatever, they dredged it, they dredged it all up here. They won a big dredger out. When was the last flood? We haven't had one. We haven't had one since 1950 something, have we? Not proper one. No. Oh, so that even the. Well, I'm on my way back to Stratford upon Avon now after a really lovely couple of days with my family. I was able to just rest a little bit, catch up, um, manage to get to the cemetery to where my dad and my grandparents are, play some flowers. I always find that very peaceful. But spending time with my aunt and my uncle, my cousins, it was just really nice and I feel very much chilled out. Now I'm on the drive back and um, I'm coming to Lincoln. I can see the cathedral in the background and uh, if I can see, get a view past this caravan, I'll show you. But now it's back to reality. So back to working in the gym, back to, hang on, there we go. Look, there we go. Can you see it in the background? And that is Lincoln Cathedral. It's gone behind the trees now. So yes, back to reality, back to the gym. Sorry, I had to put it down because it's going around and around about. Um, so like I say, back to reality, back to the gym. Um, we've got tomorrow the uh, photographers coming around and the video people. So tidy up the house, hide everything in cupboards, the garage again. 
And then at the weekend, I've got my son coming to collect all the beds. And then I've got to make fake beds out of boxes for when we have viewings. Mm. But it's only 10 days now to Australia. I can't believe it. I need to get my packing done. But um, I tell you what, I really did need these couple of days away just to, um, just to de-stress a little bit. But I had a fabulous time, honestly. Um, my aunt and uncle have been like parents to me uh, my whole life. And uh, I don't know, I always feel, like, I do feel like I'm going home. And we never did get to Babelfort because I didn't know this, but my cousin told me it was voted the worst seaside town last year, which is such a shame because it used to be so beautiful. But because it's uh, August, we knew it'd be busy with tourists, so we only went to Sutton and Sea. And as you saw, we went for that lovely walk on the beach. Now, Sutton and Sea is a beautiful place. You don't have the, all the arcades and the amusements, so it's a lot quieter. Um, and they really have changed. <coughs> Excuse me, they really have changed the uh, seafront building the sand dunes and uh, because of like flooding and things they've like lifted everything and built the walls up and it's actually really much more beautiful than how it was when I when I used to live there it, it, you know it's much nicer the beach is absolutely beautiful so if you are coming up this way and you want a nice place to stay I'd recommend Sutton on Sea now um, just go to Mobile for a day trip um, and then go to Skegness for a day trip but don't stay in those places they're too busy um they're not what they used to be. Um, and there's also, also lots of nice villages around. But uh, I suppose I ought to concentrate on the road. And I will uh, catch up with you in the week. And let you know how all the house stuff is going. And the packing for Australia. Anyway, I'm sure I seem much more relaxed as well. See you all soon. Bye.